Step 1. Draw up the liquid to be measured. Hold the stem of the pipette between the thumb and the middle fingers of your dominant hand. Allow for the movement of the index finger on and off the top of the stem. Hold the pipette vertically through the rest of the steps. Place the tip of the pipette into the fluid to be measured. Make sure that the tip is far enough into the fluid to fill the pipette without drawing up air. Expel air from the pipette bulb and place the bulb firmly on the top of the pipette stem. Slowly release pressure on the bulb to draw liquid up the pipette past the calibration mark by about one centimeter. Maintain steady pressure to prevent fluid from contaminating the bulb. Remove the bulb and cover the top of the pipette with the index finger. Check for bubbles. If there are no bubbles, proceed. If there are bubbles, drain the liquid back into the beaker and try again. Step 2. Measure the liquid. Lift the pipette out of the liquid and wipe any excess liquid from the outside of the pipette without touching the bottom. Holding the pipette vertically, angle the beaker to place the tip of the pipette against the side. Do not allow the pipette to go back into the liquid. Raise the calibration line to eye level. Slightly release pressure from the index finger, allowing the liquid to flow at a slow and steady rate. Press down firmly with the index finger when the bottom of the meniscus is sitting on the calibration line. Step 3. Deliver the liquid. Move the reagent beaker out of the way and angle the labeled receiving vessel into position. The pipette remains vertical. The tip of the pipette touches the side of the receiving vessel. Raise the graduation line of the volume to be delivered to eye level. Release some pressure from the index finger to allow the liquid to flow at a slow and steady rate. Press down firmly with the index finger when the meniscus has reached the desired graduation. Repeat this step if you are measuring multiples of the same volume, raising the next graduation line to eye level for each delivery. Remember, do not drain to the tip. More pipettes are only calibrated to the last graduation line before the tip. Excess reagent in the tip must be disposed of in a waste container and not deposited back into the original container.